the Kuwite Lightweight semifinals continue with Javier Ortega and Franklin Hivas. I try to be smart when I'm fighting. I try to keep my distance and to set my hands. I like to punch. I like more uh, striking and kicks. So maybe I'll surprise one of my a good kick, like fly kick or something like that. We don't play karate. We have to fight. <laughs> Out of the blue corner, Costa Rican, born and bred, the five-time IKF champion is here in the Kumite. He takes on the individual that was saved from the quarterfinals by the jury. Second opportunity for Javier Ortega. It's going to be an interesting Gentlemen, one. Gentlemen, enter know, we, the pit for me, please. We saw a lot from Ortega already. Had a great fight. You know, Stand just back. ran into kind of the, the, the mowing down of Chad Cannon. Now, but also, you he had great power, was really throwing Stop. heavy shots. And, uh, yeah, you know, Rivas is, is probably the most experienced right now. And I'm really curious to see how this ends up going. IKF victories between 2012 and 2016. He said that karate combat is the dream. It's currently his reality against Javier Ortega. And again, that power of Ortega, if he lands, could be lights out, Ross Levine. Yeah, you can see him just uncorking these shots. You know, we've talked about this a couple times here in the uh, in the Kumite, just the size difference, right? It's the same weight class, but boy, they, they don't look like it. Big connection right there. The right hand of Ortega bouncing off the skull of Franklin Hivas. Hivas just sort of stalking his way in, but he's taking a lot of damage, Ross. Yeah, I, I'd love to see Ortega straighten those punches out, you know, a little wider. The wide shots allows the shorter fighter to get close, and that's where Rebus wants to be. All right, so I think just keeping it straight down the pipe, maybe use his jab a little bit more. I'd love to see that. And for Rebus, let's get those kicks going. He, he mentioned his low kick being a strength of his. I'd love to see that happening a little bit more, but man, that power. Javier. Excuse me, Franklin Hiva, 16 years of training overall, said that when he walked into the gym, the thing that he loved the most was the screams that he heard. Might be screaming here tonight, Ross. He might be if he keeps taking punishment like this, for sure. I think he needs to be a little bit more slick in the way he enters. And for Javier Ortega, he's got that quarterfinal experience. He's been in the pit before, and he knows that this is his second opportunity, last chance to get that karate combat contract. Absolutely. He's, you know, so far so good on that stance, right? He's really making it work for him. He's being patient. He's staying long, and Hivas can't quite get the inside. Talk to me about that high guard of Franklin Hivas. Listen, it's what he needs to do. It's what he's doing before and after, though. You know, you can't sit there and counter. Work to tight down. Great use of the pit wall for Lico, Ortega. Lico, Lico, Lico. Veteran referee Sam Amidi calls a conclusion this first round. Franklin Hivas pressuring forward, but Javier Ortega showing that patented power. Ross Levine, your thoughts? Yeah, Ortega's, I mean, not giving him a chance to really do anything. He's really stymieing him, not just with the range, but the power, the combinations, and Hivas just couldn't quite get it going. We talked about his high guard. High guard was looking good, but he's got to do something before that. Let's take it to the jury and figure out their thoughts on round number one between Franklin Hivas and Javier Ortega. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, Rivas uh, needs more offense. He needs to, you know, he throws that uh, low kick like a jab out, the whole tight inside low kick. I think he needs more offense. He needs uh, uh, offense. He needs to strike more. Uh, and Ortega is doing good with the combinations. I would take more straight punches. He throws in an angle. So if you're moving your head back, he's, he's going to miss. If he makes it more straight, yeah. he could do more damage. I think Ortega is doing great. Um, for Franklin, he needs to understand these are two-minute rounds. Yeah. There's no 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 reason to, to wait. Yep. Well, Welcome, Shaka. I totally agree. Better referee Sam Amini gets going for this second round between Hivas and Ortega. You know, outside the pit, we asked Franklin Hivas what he likes, and he said his dogs. He's got to turn into a dog right now. He's got to get <laughs> something going. You know, I think that low kick alone is just not going to solve the puzzle of Ortega. It's, it's not going to help him get past the power. I'd love to see some body kicks like that. You know, establish a little bit more, some contact, and shut down those hands. Oh, big connection right there from Ortega. Right on the chin of Hivas. You got to think, if you're Javier Ortega... You just put it all out in this second round. Yeah, I mean, he, he's doing a great job of just maintaining his space. He's moving well. 
You know, Reba's starting to feel a little urgency here, though. Oh, beautiful sweep from Ortega. And with the ground and pound as well. Javier Ortega looking like a rejuvenated fighter here in the semifinals. Completely different from that quarterfinal appearance. Yeah, definitely high-level stuff. I mean, you're seeing he's starting to open up his game plan. One of the criticisms we had in his first fight was that he just didn't open up. He didn't throw enough. He just sat back on the bomb. He's throwing uppercuts, straights. He's throwing sweeps, the front kick. He's really putting it all together. And, you know, unfortunately, for even the experience on paper doesn't always match up with what you see. They're great low kicks, but that's not going to win this fight. The Venezuelan national champion, Javier Ortega, impressing greatly, but Franklin Rivas still has time on the clock to make something happen. Yeah, and that was the right thing right there from Rivas. He, he hit that body shot, and it stopped the right hand from coming. I think he needs to do that again and uncork a combination and make something happen here. Good shot by Rivas, finally letting loose. Yeah, the body kick's working for him. I'd love to see him keep that up a little bit. Franklin Hivas has been impressing with the pressure. Good right hand oh, from Hivas. Ortega momentarily stunned. Last 10 seconds. Can Franklin Hivas stop the juggernaut? Javier Ortega. Right, 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 right. No clean shit. That's fine. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Round number two comes to a close. Ross Levine, what an action packed effort yeah. by Javier Ortega. Yeah, I mean. Kid, you, you can't you can't take away the last you know 15 20 seconds there it finally started to see like Rivas was getting the hang of it he was attacking the liver he was throwing the body kick shutting down the boxing we started to see that shift right Oof, we're gonna go to the third round what's it gonna look like I don't know we'll take it to the jury and see if we get that third and final round between Franklin Hivas and Javier Ortega no. I learned a lot in the first round. In the second one, I think uh, I was thinking more and I was doing a better strategy. I would love to because she started doing the action, really? but no, 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 no. based on, on, on truth. I knew I lost the first round. The second round, I felt like I was a little bit uh, up in the cards. At the last, the the last moment, yeah. you started doing so. We're not scoring, so like if we really want to see a third. I'm not here only for the contract. I'm here to show who I am, where I come from, and and the best is here right now. Yes. Just would like to see what happens yes. yeah. the third. The contract, it will mean the, the world to me. Javier Ortega is here for redemption after losing his first round, being brought back by the jury in Frank Lisivas. Man, you guys put on a show tonight. Let's see if we're going to a third round. We are going to a third round. But right. Let me explain. Um, Ortega did great in the first round, but he already fought in the first round of the tournament. And uh, Franklin did really good in the second round, so we're giving him a chance to showcase what he has. Yes. And it's good for him because now we can put more pressure on him as well, because officially, I gotta tell you, the first two rounds, I would give it to him. But now we're gonna find out also he, if he can continue what he's doing. So it's a, it's a good check for you, and you should start fighting right away as you did at the end of round number two. The last 30 seconds of round number two, if you go in to this round with that mentality, that will give you a good chance to move on. And in the pro rule set, it is always three rounds, except you finish the fight early. So you've got a chance now, both of you, to prove your point. Good luck, gentlemen. We'll see you in there. Third and final round ahead for Franklin Hivas and Javier Ortega. I'm not complaining there. I mean, I would love to see from Franklin Rivas. He's got to get right back to work, attack the body with that leg. You saw him hurt. Ortega, he's got to establish his jab, go back to his range. You ready? You ready? Let's go. I don't think there's another combat sports organization where you hear in round, you know, feedback from the jury, what they want. Each guy knows the assignment. We'll see who can execute. And what better jury, what better jury to have than the, the great Boss Root, a guy who's been there in all of these types of situations, the president of the league and a fighter who just fought recently in KC40 and Samuel Erickson. So, I mean, we got the great advice from all these fighters. They got the advice from us, and let's see what happens here. Big power from Ortega. Both guys landing in the pocket. Ortega eating a shot downstairs. Franklin Hivas walking through the flames of Javier Ortega. I'll tell you what, Ross, if Boss Rutten told me to jump, I would ask how high. It was getting chilly right before this fight started, and it is, it is heating up right now. 
And again, the pressure of Franklin Hivas. He is in the face of Javier Ortega, and now he's letting loose. Wow, and man, you know, this is what it is. This is what it's all about, right? These guys have an opportunity to move on and get a pro contract here. This is what we love to see. Look at that body kick again from Rivas. Javier Ortega cut 18 pounds in one week for this opportunity. Franklin Hivas has traveled a far way. Not to lose, but to get that contract. We'll see if he can do it. First big use of the pit wall. He's styling a little bit. Franklin's picking it up. Franklin Hivas. Let's go. A couple kicks downstairs. Let's go. Is Ortega starting to fade? Oh, boy. He's slowing down. Can Franklin Hivas turn up the pace even more midway through this third and final round? I mean, this is it right here, right? You have to be able to, your mind is telling you all the time, just stop, take a break, it's okay. And you have to be able to override the system and just go for broke and do what you gotta do. Javier. Work to take down, work to take down. Ortega defeated once before. Franklin Hivas down on the scorecards. He Works needs to, to put a stamp on this third round. 10 seconds to go for this contract. Stop. Hivas and Ortega go the distance. Ross Levine, who would you give this fight to after three emphatic rounds? I, I got to tell you, man, I, I love the way that Franklin came out. It was those, those first 15, 20 seconds was mayhem. And then you saw Javier fade and Franklin good, good, good. slowly start to take it over. What about you? It's going to be an interesting, right? We saw the jury really valued the last moments of round number two for Hivas. But Javier Ortega, when he connects, there is a palpable impact. We sent it inside to the jury to find their thoughts on this three-round war between Franklin Hivas and Javier Ortega. That third round definitely did not disappoint. Jury, we go to you guys for the decision. My opening was uh, kind of short, so he was coming too much to my distance, and I take advantage of that. The thing is that he had a little more experience in the pit. I think that gave him a little of advantage. Javier Ortega, you're going to the final. Javier Ortega advances to the final. The comeback kid, Javier Ortega, defeated in the quarterfinals, now finds himself on the precipice of a karate combat contract. Javier, you lost your first round. You were chosen to be brought back. How does it feel now that you got the win and you're going into a final against someone you've already faced? Um, I think uh, the first round teach me a lot and I'm ready to do it, okay? So I'm just gonna show uh, my, my best and let's go for it. And you've definitely seen the most action in the pit here today. Many, many rounds. Are you at least having fun in there? Uh, so I love it. Okay, so let's go. We can't wait to see you in the finals. Congratulations, Javier. The rematch between Chad Cannon and Javier Ortega in our lightweight finals. Up next, Ross. After losing his first fight and then being saved by the judges, Javier Ortega won his fight and locked himself into the finals and now has the chance to win the karate combat contract. In the lightweight semifinals, Franklin Hivas lost by decision. Let's see his take on his performance. In the third round, I felt like I was slightly better than him, but the, the jury, it's... They, they have the, the last word. Yeah. I have to watch the fight and, and, and learn from my mistakes. And that's it, keep working. Fighting in the pit, it's crazy, definitely. It's, it's different being in the, in the wall. It's like, I don't know, it's a, a, crazy, a crazy experience. It's my dream fighting here in front of my idols, proving my skills against the best fighters in the world. If there's another committee, if they invite me, I will love to be here. Definitely. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.